All right, so I'm gonna keep this panel pointed directly at the sun overhead and track with it throughout the day just to get the best possible outcome. All right, the clouds have been starting to move. I'm already up to the uh, 60 watts, so putting the 100 watt panel on, it may be a good idea. At this point, it's max output, even with these partial clouds. So doing a 100 watt panel, it's probably your best option to get the highest input. Hey, it's registering higher. I don't know how that works, but <laughs> it's supposed to be limited to 60. So <laughs> there it goes. All right, so it's been exactly one hour, and we're definitely fighting some clouds. Jackery's only pulling in 19 watts at this second. But as you can see, got 20% battery power back from zero. So pretty stoked on that. In one hour, 20%. All right, so I'm just back out here with the Jackery. It is nice and sunny. So I depleted it to about 25%, 26% exactly. It's 3.35 p.m. on a July day. So we'll see what we get in the next hour. All right, so it's been exactly an hour and pulling the full wattage from the solar panel, we have added exactly 20% capacity to the Jackery. So, very cool. All right, so the uh, clouds parted and uh, sun came out, it's 520, and I got this combo hooked back up. So, pulling the full wattage that the Jackery's uh, charge controller will allow. So we'll see what we can get out of it this late in the day. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes, and I uh, and with the sun out, even at almost 6 p.m., so late in the afternoon slash early evening, this thing's already picked up eight or nine percent since we started. So, all right. So the great news is when the sun is out, even later in the day, the larger panel, you're getting your max all mostly all the time. All right. So I'm just starting to observe that the wattage is start beginning to drop uh, later in the day. Sun is still up, solar panel is still getting full light, but uh, it's pushing six o'clock right now. So it seems to be about where the solar starts to drop off a tiny bit. Just observations, so later in the day. Still pulling almost full capacity. So I've had this out for just over two hours and it's added just over 20% per hour. And the sun's dropping now, so call that test good. Okay, I'm out in my usual spot. Going to do another test in the midday sun uh, with the Jackery and the Harbor Freight solar panel. Just looking to confirm that 20% per hour is a good real world benchmark for filling up this Jackery 290. Okay, so it's 325. I'm gonna start at 71%. You see we have the full wattage that the Jackery input will allow. And today is a little hazy, but plenty of open sunshine. So you can see we've already jumped a percent while I've been talking. All right, so it's been one hour. Uh, the wattage is dropping off, I think, because it's getting closer to full. So we're down to 50 watts, uh, and it did it picked up 19% in that hour. So. It, I think that's pretty spot on. You can see it's starting to dial back the wattage, even though the sun is still bright. Uh, it definitely slows down once it gets up closer to full. I've noticed that. Uh, even watching it on the AC charger in the house, uh, when it gets up to 99%, that last 1% is, <laughs> takes a long time. I think that's uh, built in um, overcharge protection. Uh, that's just a way, I, I'm not familiar with how all that works, but I understand that that, does, that is a thing. Looks like, uh, Average of about 20% is 20% per hour is a good benchmark up to until it gets closer to full. So you can definitely get it back up to 90% um, at that rate, I believe. So I've tried this uh, three different days, and yeah, you can see the sun's not really changing, and the wattage is just slowly dropping off. So looks like getting up to 90% is the easy part. That last 10% might be what takes a while longer. So, so I ran to the store for an hour and 20 minutes and I uh, just got back and the unit is totally charged up. So I'm not sure exactly how long that last bit took, but less than an hour. So it's not going to take more than an hour. With this Jackery power station adding 20% in one hour, uh, that makes perfect sense because it's getting 60 watts. The internal capacity is right at just under 300 watt hours. So adding 60 watts per hour would be 20%, one fifth. 
Not always has a slight approximation, but you get the point. You're gonna add 20% per hour on, in good sunlight. It's gonna take five hours. So the real world result there seems to match up with a the theoretical calculation.